we can go now to uh, Gunilla, uh, one hole from uh, Swedish uh, press. Uh, Gunilla, can you hear us? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, please go yes. ahead. Thank, uh, thank you for taking my question. Um, I, I wonder in, in places like Pakistan, where you have polio and DRC, we have problem with measles. There is a lot of discussion now when could we restart the suspended vaccination campaigns? So my question to you is that what needs to be in place in order to restart these vaccination campaigns, how to assure that health workers have enough uh, protective equipment and so forth? Thank you. Uh, thank you, Gunilla. Kate, would you like maybe to start and then we will go to guests? Sure, I'd be happy to address that. Um, uh, we're releasing guidance uh, on how countries can assess uh, and can plan for um, resuming the campaigns that were paused um, as a result of the, the, the onset of COVID and the opportunity that countries needed to um, figure out how, that, how campaigns could be done in a safe and effective manner. Um, so the guidance is, is being released and it really calls on countries and provides recommendations and advice on the various attributes to consider. Uh, certainly the availability of the, the necessary protective equipment for healthcare workers to protect healthcare workers, but also to assure families and communities that they will also be safe in, um, in seeking those services. One of the big issues we've found is that people are reluctant to come for immunization services out of concern for themselves and out of concern, of course, for the healthcare workers. So part of the planning that um, countries are now able to do is have greater clarity on what, uh, what protective equipment is needed for immunization services, which is different than what is needed when actually treating patients who have COVID. In addition, we've heard and seen um, that there are innovations around how campaigns can be conducted. With physical distancing, campaigns can be conducted and they can be conducted in a safe way. And so countries are able to assess um, the degree to which there is risk for the vaccine preventable diseases and weigh that against their readiness and their ability to, um, to secure the healthcare workers to conduct the campaigns and to assure that there are the, um, the protective equipment for those, for those healthcare workers. Thank you, Dr. Brand. Maybe Henrietta Oset would like to add something? Um. So, so may I just add that um, to Kate's very good points, there are some countries that have large populations of unimmunized children. So Nigeria, Ethiopia, Democratic Republic of Congo, Chad, Philippines, Ukraine are some of them. So those would be countries that would want to really think about the planning for how they can restart their campaigns. And if I can just add to both of the excellent comments, um, there also is an important role here in, in technology and innovation. And so, for example, um, in Pakistan, one of the things we've been working um, as an alliance is to have better tracking, for example, in urban slums to be able to um, uh, figure out how those campaigns are going on, when the hours are, and to use that as a way to track um, people who are vaccinated. So if you have tools like that available, then you can stagger the times of immunizations. You can also bring people back in at different time points um, and, and avoid some of the gathering. So I think this is some of the innovation that's going on. And what's exciting about it, and I think this is potentially the silver lining over the long term, is that we might see better organized situations, better campaigns going on that are not only directed at any one pathogen, but coming together with multiple pathogens and done in a way that is more convenient for particularly women who obviously are major caregivers um, in terms of being able to do that uh, um, at, at a time that's appropriate. And so these are things that can be done over time. And, and um, hopefully as we get back to normalcy, we'll be able to not just go back to where we were, but perhaps go back even better as a, uh, as a set of tools to do this. Over. 